Caribbean Queen. Uh. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Exhausted. 
I don't even want to get into it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I want to do for my birthday. I feel like every month I'm driving. I'm driving somewhere. I'm driving to Austin. I'm driving to Houston. I'm driving to San Antonio. I'm driving all across Texas. You would think I'm I'm fucking Lewis and Clark. You would think I'm, I'm, I'm on an expedition. No four. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Ain't nobody reimbursing me for shit. Get. What is you doing? Dummy. Yeah. But again, like I said, I'm very, very grateful. Like, um, I'm warming up to my apartment. I really, really do like my apartment. Um, I just, I walk in and it feels like, a, it feels like I can make it a home. And I really, really like that because I was looking for a homey space, you know, I, I wanted a balance in between luxury and homey. And I think that I, I got it with this apartment. Now I may be speaking too soon and there's definitely a lot of tweaks or things that I don't like about the apartment, but there are things that I really do like and I really am appreciative of it. And I'm just growing in my space, you know? So I'm grateful for that. Um, and then I'm grateful for my friends like, we was playing Richard Roulette and this game called Let's Get Deep or something like that. And, you know, I spoke about the fact that I wasn't able to fully receive an orgasm by penetration until 30 years old. And I'm 30 right now. I've never received an orgasm. And if I did receive an orgasm, it was through what masturbation or no full stop masturbation. And so they were like, everybody was like, what? What? Like, you never see it. And I'm just like, it's not as uncommon as y'all think. Like, a lot of women um, have not received an orgasm through penetration. And so it kind of opened up the minds of men that were in the room, as well as women, because women were more comfortable um, speaking about that. And I told them, I was like, that may be a reason why I'm hypersexual. Because another reason why, I know there's a few reasons why, but another reason why I'm hypersexual is because I'm looking for that and I have yet to receive it. And um, I think people, again, I've, I'm an advocate of stuff like this. And I think that's why some women, they turn to podcasts like Horrible Decisions or Poor Minds because these are women openly speaking about sexual experiences or sexual desires because women don't have that safe space. They don't want to feel judged by men or other women because let's be honest, women are some of, women are women's biggest enemy. Like women are the most judgmental, most entitled, selfish, nastiest gender sometimes. And so, you know, having that safe space, I think makes some women more comfortable in speaking out loud about what they want, about their desires. And, you know, a game like Risha Roulette kind of opens the minds of that. Now, I'm, I'm open because there's nothing for me to hide. I'm speaking to people that don't want me and I don't want them. So me trying to you know, be coy or quaint or, you know, womanly or respectful, that doesn't, that doesn't move me. That doesn't get my, my brain going. You can't just be like, that's not lady. Like throughout the duration of y'all watching me on my YouTube, when have I ever been lady like? You know what I mean? Like that's just not my brand. My brand isn't to promote lady like. My brand is to promote who you are and one thing that I got from myself this weekend is that I cannot I literally cannot be anybody else but me so why not be me you know what I'm saying like I can't I can't be this person because they look like this I don't got that I can't be this person because they got this I don't got that I can only be me so there's no choice I don't have a choice when people be like Ruka how how do you I'm me. There's nothing else I can do. <laughs> you know? And it, it shouldn't it shouldn't be like a wow factor. It shouldn't be like, wow, I wish I had your because it's not anything about me having. It's just me being. I am me, you know? But it was it was humbling to see that people want something that I have, such as confidence or like the way I move, and I'm just so confused because I don't see it as anything other than being myself. You know, but it was a cool weekend. It definitely was. Um, and then, you know, as y'all know, I did take a week off or so to 
not necessarily stop recording, but I didn't edit because I just didn't have time to. And um, I didn't have Wi-Fi. So I've just been to myself really. And I was, there's some things that I want to do to my apartment, but I was waiting for like a task rabbit, but because of the, you know, the limited and restricted funds of things, um, I have to be Barbiana the Builder. And I hate putting things together. I hate it. I hate it. Like, that's why I love TaskRabbit so much. But, you know, it costs money. Everything, everything in this capitalistic economy costs fucking money, man. I'm so tired of it. I'm so, so tired of it. But, yeah, anyway. We're on our way to Austin. I got a few hours left on it. And then the wedding is at 5. Crazy enough, you guys. Fun fact. Not so fun. Why did you get over to the fast passing lane if you're not going to fast or pass? You feel me? Anyway. One thing I don't like to do. I don't like to go to weddings. I like to go to the reception. But I don't like to go to actual weddings that I do. It doesn't move me. I have to, the pews where you have to scoot your behind through. It doesn't move me. I'm not moved by it. I'm not hearing can, You can barely hear the vowels from up there I'm not moved by it Like it doesn't move me uh, I don't like I don't like going to the actual wedding But I do like going to the reception But if like you know you're important to me I will try my best to make it to the actual wedding But again that The union I want to I want to celebrate y'all I don't, I don't need to be crying You know That's me personally but yeah, the, the shit starts at five, supposedly, and then um, the reception right after. So we'll see. We'll see. I brought my I brought my laptops. I brought my camera. Like I didn't want to bring my stuff because again I'm clumsy. But I told myself like you know if you really if you really about it like you say you about it, then you're gonna bring your stuff, which I did. I always be talking to y'all. I always be talking up a storm in the park. My bad, y'all. It's Rough Rider and Roots, though. Y'all know what it is. Y'all, I am watching She's All That. I don't think I've watched She's All That in a long time. Either that... Or I've never watched it because... It's nothing but stars in this movie. It's nothing but stars. It's Gabrielle Union, Lil Kim is in here, Usher's in here, Paul Walker's in here. Um, You're kidding. I don't know this one boy. Is he from France? Which one is that one? The, the main, the main character. I don't know that one. Then the guy that was in Daredevil, the other lawyer. What was his name? Hubby Froggy. Froggy. This is so cool. I need to watch this movie in full because I don't remember none of these people. You want to know what I think? And they're all stars to me. You're better off without him. Is that Lil' Kim? She looks so good. When did this movie come out? Y'all, is that Lil' Kim? Oh, shit. Damn, y'all can't. Sorry. I think that was Lil' Kim. She looks so good. This is a spooky angle. <laughs> but, um, anyway, yeah, so I made it to Austin. I made it to Austin, and currently I'm getting ready to, um, head to the reception. Do my makeup real quick, put the dress on, put some lotion on, and call it a day. Um, got here. Ate some food, took a nap. Every time I take a nap, I move so slow. But um, yeah, my sister is with me, but um, she went somewhere. But yeah, we are on our way. My brother, he's still on the way with his wife. I don't know what they was doing, what they was thinking, and they in Houston, so if anything, they a little closer. Get closer. Oh, get closer. I'm burning now. One thing I like to do whenever I'm traveling on the road 
I like to listen to like 90s, early 2000s R&B. And then sometimes I like put in some Billy Ocean. You know what I'm saying? Caribbean queen, now we're sharing the same dream. And the heart happy that is one. No more love on the run. What y'all know about that? Caribbean queen. This purse is, I, you know, another thing I noticed about myself, especially yesterday, I hate packing. Because I can pack three weeks in advance, and I promise you, I'll still forget something. I'll still forget something. This, there's no reason for this to be this full. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stuff it right back up. I can't be bothered. When God blesses me with money, I won't say anything, but there will be signs, baby. There will be signs. Watching, watching shit like this, shows like this, movies like this, it, it, it always makes me think back to my high school experience. So, you know, I moved from SWAT, Southwest A-Leaf to Fort Bend, so that automatically lessened any type of, I don't want to say bullying, but like, you know, instances where I would get in trouble. Mind you, I still got in trouble. I still got into a lot of trouble. But, like, the bullying where people are smacking the your food tray out of your hand and stuffing you in a locker and um, doing all that stuff, that, that shit is crazy to me. Like, I, I'm looking at this like, who... Who do you think you are? Why, why would I listen to you? Who do you think? Who, what is the scenario here to where I need to be listening to you? Who are you? Who are you? It's just so confusing to me. Somebody will tell me um, they want to come and bully me. I, I, I'll be standing there, sitting there while they're doing it. Huh? And maybe I'm simplifying it over to the moon because nobody's been ever been able to pick me up and put me anywhere. That's just That's just numero uno, but... I did get bullied once and that was on, that was virtually. Somebody made an anonymous MySpace account and they were just commenting. They were putting like this nasty, they made, they, they photoshopped it though. They photoshopped me on, it was, and I found out who it was too. Hmm. I'll never forget that. That was my only bullying, but. And face to face, somebody doing something crazy. No, I'm watching. She's all that. I'm like, y'all so jobless, <laughs> so jobless. What is your SAT score that you're that you're doing this stupid shit? And now, now that I'm thinking about it, I sound old. I sound re removed. Y'all let me know, Have y'all were y'all bullied in, in school, in high school? Did y'all have a bullying experience? Were you the bully? Because I know I'm a bully. I'm a bully about mine. But, like, I never bullied anybody to, to the point of, like, you know, this nonsense. Oh, my big fat Greek wedding, they were coming out with another one? Ah, I know that's right. These people not old. Oh, the movie back on. Bye. Before we start, should you be drinking alcohol? Nigga had a nigga had a doctor's appointment. Oh, but man, cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off. Oh yeah. Wow. Your best, you are. Did you get it? Did you ever it? Girl, leave that shit alone. I really want one. I really want one. Okay.
Oh, thank you. Who said something that you're saying thank you to? You know, I'm as good as fuck. I'm trying to find me out. How the hell am I supposed to do this? Yeah. 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 Let's get the eyes, please. Yes. Yes.
I woke up kind of crazy. Today is Friday, September 8th. Today is my boy's birthday. Shout out to DJ. What I got on my body? I'm on his body. It's on my body. It's a pool on my body. <clears throat> Today's Friday, September 8th. I'm in Austin. The day after the wedding. The wedding was cool. I guess I'm so used to... Um, Nigerian weddings that I was expecting something similar knowing that this was an African-American wedding and I don't know like It was so calm. It was such a calm wedding um, I think again my, my siblings and I were the Well, we weren't the littest out of the bunch. Don't let me lie. There was one there was one groomsman he thought he was funny, and I guess he was funny. I just didn't. I I just didn't get the the joke, you know. I just I just wasn't understanding the joke. But it was cool, you know what I'm saying. I I, I really enjoyed myself. I mean, the bride looked stunning. Um, she looked stunning. And then there was one thing that I really liked about the wedding is that the photographer that they used, um. He would take their pictures and then he would immediately upload them to the slide. It was so cool. I look blurry right there. You messing with me? It's blurry right there. You know what I'm not gonna do? I'm not gonna worry about it. Yeah, he like immediately uploaded. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, when did y'all take these pictures? She was like, right now, he's uploading them as we speak. And I just thought that was so cool. But yeah, I'm currently just working right now. Um, you know, because the hustle don't stop and I need money. So I'm just trying to get, get in where I fit in. My sister, she... She flies out today, so she was gonna get herself something to eat across the street. But yeah, it was pretty cool. Nothing crazy for real. You know, nothing for me to just be like, I don't know. It was real cool. She looked beautiful, her and her husband. And then the children looked so cute. My nephew, he made a little speech and it was so cute. <laughs> I felt like crying. He just looked like his mama. He looked like his mama, y'all. And he looked like my mama. It's just so crazy. Anyway, me how? Yeah, um, I need to, speaking of that, I need to go look at Megan The Stallion and um, Cardi B, they dropped a new song, Bongos. I need to see what that's about. Cause I'm in love with Megan. I think she looks so good. She looked like a like a race car track. Just curvy and and, and dangerous. You know what I'm saying? The girl is so dangerous. I can't multitask. I'll talk to y'all later. I got 
got five on it. Grab your four, let's geek I got five on it. Messing with that and do it. I got five on it. What's really good, y'all? I know I look exactly the same. Like, bitch, did you babe? Yes, I did. And you know what? I didn't have no extra clothing, so I put the same pieces of clothing that I had when I was driving. Okay? I did. I did. Um, and then I thought to myself, because I was like, damn, they're going to be like, oh, Rookie, you wore this. You, we just seen you wear this yesterday. Oh, you did this, this, this. And I thought to myself, I said, man, who going who to be mad? <laughs> who going to be mad? Because I got that hit. Clock for your ugly ass. Hey. Anyway, I just left Austin. I'm doing a, a, a Texas World Tour. Did that make sense? No. Did I say it? Yes. So, from Dallas to Austin, from Austin to Houston, from Houston to Dallas. And we in Houston for my motherfucking nigga birthday. It's my boy birthday. My nigga DJ. Go DJ. That's my DJ. If y'all want to go say happy birthday to him, y'all can. His Instagram is say go DJ8. So, you do that if you want to. But yes. We are celebrating in H Town. We got a uh, we got a wedding on Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to that wedding. It's just too many people that's gonna be there. I don't know if I'm gonna go to that wedding. I didn't bring I didn't bring the wig that I wanted to. I'm I don't know if I'm going to that wedding. I don't know if I'm going to that wedding. <laughs> Shout out to Go TV. But um, yes, I'm on my way to get get some Chinese food. One thing about Dallas. It's that it doesn't have no good Chinese food. And if you know of a good Chinese place in Dallas, let me know. But I have, I have yet to come across it. Um, they have great Thai food. But in terms of like General Joe's, you know, some Kung Pao. You know, some, some shit like that. They don't got it like that up in the D-Town. They don't got that, that up in Triple D. And if they do, I'm not close to it or close by or know of it. So I'm on my way. Straight to the uh, I'm going. I need to go to HEB and I need to go get some meat. I'm so hungry. And then once I do all of that, then I'm gonna just take a nap and then get ready for the night. Really, I want, I want to do a little something, but I don't want to cram my schedule. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna chill. See where the night takes me. If there's a little bit left of the night, then I might see what's up and see what's right. Okay. <laughs>
how zoomed in this this camera is. Damn. I'm screwed back. I, 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 look, I'm far. Far from you. Oh, that's a, that's a dope shot. Anyway. What's up, y'all? It is it. A little. I'm back at the telly. Um, I feel like I haven't been vlogging well, but shit, oh well. Um, it was a cool little time. It was a cool little vibe. You know, I saw some, I saw some of my old friends. Love seeing my old friends. Um, yeah, and people looked good. You know, people came out to celebrate the niggas. So, you know, I'm really lit about that. You know, that's a another notch under the belt. Under the under the. Houston, Atlanta, Dallas, Austin trip. So, I felt, what did I say? I had a good time. Like, I know, like, y'all, I know this wig ages me. I know it does. Like, I look at myself and I be like, Ruka, you look 75 with this wig on. But y'all, I love this wig. I can't get enough of it. It is efficient. I don't have to worry about my lace slipping. None of that. Like, And it frames my face well. I know, I know I look like Barbara and Shirley, but Lord, they was on to something in 1998. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, my AC leaking. Yeah. That's what happened when you, uh, when, you, when you try to budge it. So I'm going to see about that and then... I still got some leftover fried rice. I didn't even show y'all the food that I got. I went to Kim's Tea House, got myself some Korean. If I was Korean, I honestly, I honestly would be like, um, nobody fries chicken better than me than Koreans, cause Koreans was on to something. They can fry some chicken, baby. Um, so I had that, and then I had some rice from Rice Bowl. I just needed a quick fix. Okay, and it fixed me all the way up, uh, right? And then we went to Exhale. It was cool. It was a cool little vibe for real. I spent some money on that boy. Got some, you know, got some hookah. Got some drinks, you know, some slight. They had some sweet wings, but they, I don't know. Me personally, I don't like my my wings fried hard. A lot of people like their wings fried hard. That shit too crunchy for me. My mouth, my mouth was sore. <sighs> crunch on them damn wings. I don't want to exercise. I don't exercise myself. What do you mean I have to exercise my mouth to eat my food? That's crazy. That's, that's, I don't understand that logic. That logic escapes me. But anyway, I had a good time. Wearing lingerie as a top is a win. I suggest my breasts, ooh, they look great. Ooh, gee, wally, wally. Ooh, gee, bang, bang. Love that. Free a lady now, I'm alive. Ooh, they look good. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Ooh, somebody's son needs to come and suck this city. I'm so far away from the camera. I can't see shit. so close to this but i'm gonna try something to eat here Oop. i'm gonna try something to eat here because i'm hungry and i have to get some gas anyway so i'm gonna see what this place is talking about
Y'all don't judge me, okay? I know, I know. Again, Ruka, the same shirt again. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I got it. And I got a side of... I, I got two sandwiches. I already know. I already know it's going to be something when the oil is permeating through the bag so i got a ribeye sandwich we're gonna try both and then i got a chopped beef sandwich oh i got extra barbecue sauce i got extra barbecue sauce too so we're gonna try this one first this is the chopped beef i got onions Ooh. it got onions pickles Oh my lord. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is fucking tasty. The bread is soft. The meat tender. Mmm. 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 I can finish that right now. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. -hmm. That's really good. Yeah. Let's try this. Um. Mm, I can finish that one right now. I love when the bread is soft to where like everything just like kind of meshes together. Like the meat and the. Ooh. Ooh, just the ribeye. Ooh. It come with provolone, bell peppers, and steak sauce. This look good. This look real good. And it look hefty, hefty, hefty. Buck is not gonna see me no more. No. Mm -mm. My only stop from now on is gonna be Woody's. Cause this shit is crazy. I was gonna let it go. I was gonna let it go. 
but I can't let it go. Look at that. I can't let it go. I'm sorry, I didn't even give y'all a bite. Mm. Oh, it's so messy. But in like the best way ever. You know the food real good when you when you quiet. You know what I'm saying? That shit was so good. What the fuck? I tore that shit up. Are you kidding me? That shit was fucking flames. <laughs> that shit was fucking flames. The wood, the Woody's barbecue, the Woody smokehouse. It's gonna see me again. I, if whenever I stop, the way I'm going, I'm always facing like this this uh, shell <clears throat> so I only just get the shell and I go because I'm really just racing against Google Maps and I want to get to my crib before the time that it shows so I never really just stop and when I do stop I stop for gas um, but this time because the one over there the one across the ray it doesn't have it doesn't take fuel rewards and I don't have time for that so I came to this one and this is where Woody Smokehouse is and I was like, you know what? I see it advertised all the goddamn time. Let me come in and let me get something. I'm so glad I did. Bucky's count your motherfucking days. You and that fatty uh, brisket sandwich count your motherfucking days. And all you that hyped that sandwich, fuck y'all. Because y'all y'all haven't tried Woody's. This hoe was so, the way I tore that thing up, you would have thought I had a time limit. <clears throat> and I know I just added like 30 minutes to my, uh, to my route, but I do not care. Like that shit was so delicious. It was so delicious, dog. Delicious. It was so good. I, yeah, I added, I was supposed to get there at 2.55. It is, it says now that I'm getting there at 3.31. <laughs> yeah, so I added like 35, 40 minutes to my shit. Worth it! See, yeah, this, oh, it's two Woody Smokehouses. Oh, okay, one on each side. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck this side. I like the other side better. I like the other side better. Customer service was A1. They had like 17 people in the cockpit trying to get orders. Did you Have you been helped? Have you been helped? Have you been helped? I said, well, shit, it is Sunday, so I'm feeling like a service going on because y'all sure is, y'all sure do got me. Y'all sure do got me. <clears throat> I was asked I was asked have you been helped like 17 times like and each time the answer was yes I have been helped that lady in the back cooking my sandwich right now and they did that shit like Subway like she put that shit on there she put the ribeye she put the steak she put all the uh, peppers and the onions and shit and she toasted that motherfucker then she added some more sauce on that bitch Ooh, that shit was so good I wish I could eat it again you know what I wish sometimes? I wish that I can experience things that I've experienced for the first time again. Like, the first time I ever watched Game of Thrones, I wish I could experience that again. The first time I had sex with my best sex partner, I wish I could experience that again. Because that shit was epic. You know, things I just wish I could experience for the first time again. Watching Abbott Elementary, I wish I could watch that for the first time again. Like... <laughs> That sandwich was so good. Ooh. And I ain't never had a ribeye sandwich. I ain't never had one of them. And then she was like, it's on sourdough bread. I don't really do sourdough bread like that. 
but in this guy, because she was like, oh, you can do it on white bread. I said, no, 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 no. I always want to taste something how it is given. Y'all chose to put it on sourdough bread for a reason, so put it on the sourdough bread. Let me see. I don't regret a damn thing. It was delicious. You have to stay true, sitting in the bag. Ooh, it was delicious. Y'all gonna see me in the same shit in the car during the same time and be like, did this bitch, babe, is this the same day? I will. Oh shit, I got brisket on my phone. This looks horrific. Do I got wet wipes? I know this was a little chaotic, but I appreciate you all for tuning in for my 4 for 4 week and my 4 for 4 vlogs this week. I hope you all enjoyed and understood that moving took a toll on me. I appreciate you always. See you next time.